Hi everyone, Gia Yarnut here. Thanks so much for watching. Today, instead of showing you Squirrel of Yarn, I would like to follow a suggestion given to me by one of my subscribers when I was asking for things that they would like to see on this channel. They said they would like to see how to organize things. So that is right up my alley. I love organizing things. I love taking unusual things and using them to organize other things. I think it's so fun it's to see how much you can fit in a little space. So I wanted to show you how I organized my knitting needles and crochet hooks, which again, it could be much better, I know. But in this little cabinet over here, I organized all of my crochet little doodads, stitch markers, counters, knitting needles, crochet hooks, and I wanted to show you how I did it. So let's take a look. I purchased two acrylic pencil holders, brush holders, because I thought they would make good crochet hook holders. And I think they're going to work pretty well. I'm a little worried about some of the larger hooks spinning. So I'm currently storing my hooks in this makeup brush storage thing with drawers and it doesn't work very well because they all stack up on top of each other they're all mushed together you can't find them so I really wanted to display my hooks and I really wanted them to be lined up and organized so I could find whatever I want really easily but my goal was to have all my crochet hooks displayed as many as I could all organized by the size and so what I'm doing is I'm putting the smallest hooks on the left side and I'm going to go each row up one size. So I'm going to have to group the, the number zeros, ones, twos together because I don't use those very often anyway. And then starting with the B, C, D, E, F, G and up, they're each going to have their own row. So that should be pretty exciting. I was worried that the clover hooks wouldn't fit, but most of them do. Some of the larger ones don't. I would recommend getting a different kind of holder. This one is not ideal if you have small kids or dogs, if it's going to get jarred. Some of the thinner hooks kind of fly out because that bottom hole is not very deep, so it doesn't hold them in very well. But for my purposes of just sorting and displaying, it's going to work all right. I'm displaying everything from left to right. Smallest hooks on the left. So each row is going to have its own size in it, and I think it looks kind of cool. I'm going to put the clovers in the front because those are my favorite, and they're very colorful. Some of the other larger ones won't fit in here. I'll have to figure out something else to do with them. Definitely have too many crochet hooks. I also inherited my mom's, but I really can't stand to throw them out, so we'll just keep them all. So everything is going to be organized by size and it should look pretty good when we're done. So I have this bag that somebody bought me a long time ago and I thought it was a really weird bag. I didn't know what it was all about. There were all these weird pouches in it and stuff. These compartments, I couldn't figure out what they were for, but they're actually to hold different colors of yarn. And then you put it through the top, the string through the top and they don't get all tangled up. And there's a bunch of things inside that I want to see if I can organize. My blocking pin. So let's see what's in here. This is just a holder for travel. Got my really large, I have my really large crochet hooks in here. I, I do like these wooden hooks. This is a T, 22 millimeter. This is nice for the really thick yarns. And these are okay. Um, I forgot what brand these are, I'll have to look it up, but the reason I don't like these, you can see it, but there's a seam in there, and they're rough right here around the, where you put your thumb. So like when you're crocheting and you're touching this all the time, your thumb starts getting sore. So people that make crochet hooks, please make them smooth, like really smooth, <laughs> because there's, I have so many that are plastic that would work really well if they didn't have rough spots on them. You can't have that when you're doing repetitive motion, it just doesn't work. So I forgot what brand these are though, but these are... 19 millimeters, which are great for thicker yarns too, but that's why I got the wooden ones. And these are super smooth. I love these. This is also a 22 millimeter tee. This, I'll have to find the brand also, but this one is super smooth and it's really nice to work with. Pointy top, smooth all over. It's wonderful. So I don't know what I'm going to do with those hooks. Here's some more of the larger plastic hooks. I had to put tape on this one, as you can see, because I needed to use it and it was just killing me. So I put tape on it, which worked pretty well. Actually, these are clear band-aids, I think. But that worked to cushion 
be handled pretty well. That's a Q16 millimeter. I'm going to have a couple of those as well. This one is a boy. This one's marked. Now this one, again, is not smooth where you have to put your thumb. They put the uh, markings on it for the size, and it's very rough. So, But it, it doesn't seem to have a seam anywhere else. Knitting needles. I'm going to attempt to knit. Someday. <laughs> this is a Susan Bates 25 millimeter. Very nice, smooth, gorgeous hook. I love it. Love it. This. This is a Lion Brand twist hook. I tried this one. Seems to be all right. Um, doesn't feel rough. It's a little short though for my hands. I didn't really like it that much, but. It works. I didn't have a lot of large hooks at that time, so I had to use it, but it was okay. Extra clovers. I buy the clovers whenever I can find them on sale. These are super expensive, but they are wonderful. This one I found on Amazon. This is a 30 millimeter. Now this one, they put a seam right in the middle of it. More Tunisian hooks and circulars. These are my mom's knitting needles. <laughs> She's in its slippers a lot. So now we're going to take everything out of this drawer. This is all the stuff I'm not using. Oh, I changed my mind. My drawing stuff is going to stay down there so I can find it. All these old computer and desk accessories can go. Knitting needles, Tunisian crochet hooks going here. Oh, they fit perfectly. Look at that. Knitting needles. And crochet hooks, I end up giving them away, losing them. <laughs> yes. That's a pair of my mom's old knitting needles. I found them in an ottoman full of yarn. I'll have to show you what was in there one day. It was so cool. It was like a treasure find. And I should be able to find them very easily. This is great. This is a perfect size drawer for this. This is from my old desk. Stitch markers. Locking pins. Travel case I use for crochet hooks and things on the road. It was an old makeup case. They work really well. Extra crochet hooks. They won't fit. I'm going to keep them in this little case. They're a little bit too big for the holder. And I don't, they're too small to get in the drawer with the really big ones. We'll put my whip basket back here. This is the Winter Garden quilt. And we're going to work on that as our next crochet along after a reversible quilt is finished. I did find a way to display some of my yarnology hooks. I had this old tool stand. It's made to hold jewelry making tools and it does hold the larger ones in there quite nicely and you can see them. So I'm going to leave those right here so I can see my pretty hooks. I like it. Oh yeah, that's nice. Workstation, ready to go. Woo! I wanted to show you the finished result. Here's the top. It's angled a little bit because it's my camera angle when I film. This top drawer is all organized with my travel crochet hooks and all my little accessories, so easy to find. Second drawer, all my crochet hooks, knitting needles, Tunisian hooks. So great. And the bottom drawer has my baby doll for sizing and modeling baby clothes and my yarn ball winder and my skein holder or little it's a small swift very small and my drawing materials are all in the bottom drawer so now I don't have to dig around for everything I know exactly where everything is and I'm very very happy so I hope you found that helpful and not too boring. Again, it's not that big of a deal, but I thought I would show you what I did. And I thought it was fun to see how much stuff came out of that bag, huh? <laughs> I couldn't believe how much stuff was in that bag. I couldn't find anything. It was a nightmare. So now I know where everything is. And now the trick is to put everything in its place when I'm done with it. That is my biggest problem. And I know I sound like your mom, but 
she was right and my mom was right. I put everything back where it belongs and then you can find it. Yeah, it's very true, you can't. <laughs> so instead of piling stuff on my counter or on my end table, when I'm finished with it, I need to just throw it right back in the drawer and then it'll be there next time I want it and it won't be under the couch, <laughs> right? <laughs> so let me know what you think of this video, this type of video, if you'd like to see more. Let me know where's the weirdest thing you found something, you know, that didn't belong there. <laughs> And let me know how you organize your things. I would really love to hear it in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and have a really, really good day. <laughs> Bye. But I love organizing things. <clears throat> Cut. <clears throat> but that's a different subject. I really love organizing things. And I wanted to show you how I organized my crochet hooks and knitting needles and all my other little... <laughs> Cut. <laughs>